Hi everybody, this is Pete. And in today's Camera Lucida tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Camera Lucida with these external cameras and document scanners. In order to be able to use them, you do need an iPad that has a USB-C connector. It needs to be running iOS 17.0 or higher, and you need to be running Camera Lucida 16.0 or higher. But if you have all of those things, then you can have a camera pointing straight at your paper, and you can have your paper in front of you with your iPad within easy reach. So let me show you how it's done. First of all, you need to plug it in. Now in this case, the camera came with a USB-A connector, so I needed a dongle to go from A to C, and I've got it loosely here so I can do this with one hand, but watch what happens when I plug in, okay? All of a sudden it says, ah, the Mirrorbox 223-1500 camera is now available and you can use the camera controls to select it. Okay. Now one other little thing before I go further, you'll notice that there are lights on that came on when I plug this in, in this particular model. That means it's using power from your iPad. So you may need a USB hub with power delivery in order to make sure you don't drain the battery too quickly, but that's up to you. Okay, right, let's move on. So now to select the camera, I go to the camera controls and where that used to just say back, now it says back slash USB. And when I push that, it says back camera and mirror box 223. So I'm gonna select that. And you'll see here now what happens is the camera turns itself on and you've got a complete view of what's happening. Now you'll notice, hey, it's mirrored, it's backwards. Well, that's because webcams are primarily designed to do things like show you your face in a video session with your friends, and so they're capable of reversing their view. But don't worry, there are lots of ways of fixing that. In this particular case, this device comes with a mirror function, which I will push here, and you'll see that what happens is that it can change the view to correct that for you. Now, there are other ways of doing this. For example, I could pick up my app and I could actually rotate the device and Camera Lucida would say, hmm, I better rotate the camera view for you. Or if you have the auto camera correction, you can go in and lay down a target and even if this thing was way off, it would correct the camera for you. It would correct for any kind of tilt that you have in there, et cetera, et cetera. And that's it. Once you've got it, you can use the app in the same way that you normally would. And you just draw by looking at your iPad that's sitting right in front of you. Now this one's really great because it also has a feature that um, has a focus button so that when you push the focus, it'll focus and lock the focus on you. So it focuses once and that way your hand won't change the focus. Every iPad and every iPad, sorry, and every web camera is gonna be just a little bit different in terms of the lag, the quality of the camera, et cetera, et cetera. And there's gonna be little gotcha. So if you plug this in, any camera at all, and you need a little bit of help, don't hesitate to hit the old contact us button in the contact support button right here, okay? And send me an email because I can help you through it no matter what, all right? Okay, enjoy, have a great time. Thank you very much.